Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going on r slash tumbler to tumble. This video might be relatively short because I am actually absolutely exhausted. Yesterday I got my blood drained. And now I have a bruise on my arm. It's actually pretty fun. I had to get my um, blood uh, drawn for a lab so that I could continue to go on HRT. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into this. Guy about to invent mayonnaise. Damn, I wish a sandwich tasted bad. Opie's never had pizza with mayonnaise. Opie's never throttled someone to death with their bare hands either, but unlike what you said, that can change any second. Ginger Ale official go o owing hard. I don't like comics because I can never tell which Wait, it's supposed to be... Okay, it's supposed to be left to right. Sorry. Japan can have written comics for me. In this fantastic world, society is divided between two classes. The beautiful specials who possess magical and wonderful and wondrous abilities. And the dumb poo people who can't do anything. Until one poo person named Theophilia of Wallace discovers she has abilities far greater than any special. I get it. Anyone can be special no matter what the circumstances of their birth. No, stupid. It turns out Theophilia is actually a long lost heir to the super special royal family. By virtue of her, of her superior bloodline, it is her divine right to be the most talented and important person in the world. That doesn't sound like the most empowering message to teach kids. Sounds like somebody got poo person under online personality quiz. Young adult protagonist. Pretty much. Naruto? I think it sums up a lot of shows. Just gonna do it for all of them. No reason not to, right? But the Yeah, is there No, there isn't. Okay. Nope. Wrong one. So I learned the euro currency was designed featuring imagery of fictitious bridges to represent architectural osirlings throughout time in Europe, also serving to not feature one country while discriminating others. The Netherlands then built the bridges anyway. Oh, my, cur my currency now. Look at that. First of all, there's this bridge, and oh. Oh, dang! They really just did that! That's amazing. Also, bridges surrounding the development have been completed and are being used by cyclists and pedestrians. 
Stem says they have divided opinion in among residents. Some people's initial impression is that the bridges are ugly. When they find out the story behind them, they find it really funny. I mean, honestly, it is really funny. Hmm. Saying fuck it actually motivates me more than you can do this. Because saying fuck it includes the total acceptance of failure as the outcome. Meanwhile, you can do this focuses only on the hopes of a successful outcome. The lack of acknowledgement of the equally probable failure the outcome in induces a certain level of unspoken anxiety. I don't get it. Hmm. My favorite character in Beauty and the Beast is this dresser way to fuck up a villager with a baseball bat. Beat our guest, beat our guest, slam a bat into their chest, stuff a rock into a sock and turn their face into a mess, poke their eyes, hit their nose, drop a, drop a hammer on their toes, hack their hand off with a hatchet, or just grab a brick and smash it, break their arms, break their face, pop a socket out of place, unleash all of the, the hidden fear you've suppressed, they'll find hard to flee when they, they profusely bleed. All down their vests, I don't jest, they're too toothless to protest, beat our guests, beat our guests, beat our guests. That is so messed up. Did you like my singing? Because that will probably never happen again. Hmm. <sighs> Thinking about how they made only made a Pinkie Pie canonically straight, but they just had to involve Weird Al in it. I stopped watching uh, a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic after season three. Someone tell me what episode this was. The last one. She fucked that man. Huh? Weird Al always a recurring incurred. Character in the last episode, and she had his baby. Okay, I'm not into this either. What? Everyone commenting and ha uh, that she could still be by, and while that is correct, and y'all are valid, you have to understand that the end and and that that in no way lessens the impact of the fact she was canonically impregnated by Weird Al's insert OC. What the frick? I stole your, your waifu, Weird Al. He knows, and it's even better. That's so evil. Oh. Nothing in the realm of superhero or team dynamics beats fights where every member of the team is back in their own personal nemesis, who knows all of the weaknesses, then halfway through gets their asses kicked. These superheroes are like, this sucks, wanna switch, and then they beat their teammates' opponent and for them. Oh, this is going to be... I'm tired. I'm going to go hit the... Hit the what? The my edition. I mean, I'm going to hit the... Hit the what? Oh, actually, I'm just going to catch some... Catch some what? I too made an edition. <laughs> huh. So, what are you gonna hit, OP? What are you gonna catch? Huh? So, go to sleep. Go to what? The only light you need. Oh, jeez. They were telling the truth. 
If this post gets 200k, I'll finally continue writing my freaking book. The only reason I'm not I'm saying this is because I need to find an excuse for not writing, and the answer is to be able to say, I can't. My Garfield post isn't at 200k yet. My goodness. Can you draw a distressed Stegosaurus for me? Sorry, I mean, can you draw a distressed Stegosaurus for me? I have to, it's the ass of movie meme. I'm fricked it up, but you know, I still had to do it. Um... Okay, let's just read this. One thing to never forget is that nobody is is beneath being considered human. That's the absolute bottom line. Not Nazis, not pedophiles, not the worst person you ever freaking met. There's no such thing as subhuman, and as soon as the concept gets acknowledged, even as a joke or an attempt to return the favor to the people who have tried to revoke your humanity first, you're opening the door to that being turned on you, or back to you. While I do agree, you still should absolutely... Punch Nazis. Not being punched is not a human right. It's a right of those who aren't aren't complete. It jerks to everyone around them. Or fascists. The worst people imaginable are still people. The worst atrocities that are done by human hands were done by human hands. There is no bar of morality to who counts as human. No more than there is a bar for how useful, profitable, or li law abiding someone has to be, or to direct an extra sexuality. Interchanging the idea that anyone could be considered barely even human is out of the question. My entire existence is a laundry list of things that people, other people, human beings who have thoughts and feelings as much as I do, have tried to classify as subhuman. Something beneath being regarded as a person and a human being. And as someone who just ate a whole container of chocolate cheese with soy sauce, wrapped in a container with a soup layer because there is no there are no clean spoons, and I'm not in the freaking mood to do dishes, the bar for being human is really freaking low to begin with. I mean, to be fair, we evolved from primates, and you've heard about the primates is that literally eat babies of people they're fighting. I'm just gonna skip. <gasps> According to my math, six is higher than two. Me and the gang playing D and D. Me trying to sound intelligent when asked about math. Let me guess, is a hentai? Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, it's not a hentai. Sorry to disappoint. Jeez, why did they do that? It hurts so much. Anyway. The least intimidating bakery in the village has closed for good now, so I've got to go to the intimidating bakery. It's awful. If you don't have a PhD in being French, I recommend going to that bakery. Here's the humiliating amount of the three times I've visited so far. First time I went in there, I pointed at one of those extra skinny baguettes and said, a flute, please. Feeling pretty sure of myself, and the baker said, That's a facile. You idiot, was implied. A flute is twice as, as large as a baguette. That's insane. First of all, a flute is a skinny instrument. Call your fat baguette a, a bassoon, lady. I made some time re a cow would make more sense for a flute to be sk a skinny bread, and it. A Paris said, In Paris it is. Oh, no, and the baker said, in Paris it is. I thought you were from the south. Oh, that hurt. Guys, I'm from the part of the south that's so close to Italy. The bread's waist size matters less than whether it's got olives in it. But I love the bakery having an existential old crisis over whether living in Paris had made me forget my roots. 
The lead Seven Egg Baker just had normal baguettes versus C, baguettes versus horny baguettes. Easy mode. Some have seeds, some have horns. <laughs> when a new baker has breads that are only different on a, on a molecular level, that is a good old loaf of and another identical loaf called a bastard. Someone told me a bastard is a halfway between a baguette and a bread, but not to dip like those are not regular sized bastards would get me banned from the bakery for life. <sighs> On my second visit, while I stood line discreetly googling baguette uh, uh, terminology, there was an English tourist who asked for a baguette while appointing what was either a a Rasik or a SME, and I felt a bit worried for them. But the bakery just clarified this one to waive any responsibility. If they found out later, it was in class baguette and hand them the bread without educating them in a judgmental tone. And I felt envious. I think it's because she thinks the English are beyond saving, but still made me want to come back with a fake mustache with and an English accent so I wouldn't be expected to play bakery on expert mode just because I'm French. I asked for a pastry this time and the bakery asked no bread with that, which felt cruel, like she wanted me I used to sprinkle myself and admit with ashes admit out loud that my level of bread proficiency is as advanced as I once believed it was. The third time I went, I had lost all self consciousness like point out uh, bread and said, I like this, uh, what is it called? And the baguette looked at me in disbelief and. Wow, I can't say words apparently. And the baker looked at me in disbelief and said, That's a baguette. God, for the record. If that seaweed bread had been flanked by a skinny bread for seal, and a fat one, flute, then yeah, of course, I would have known to call it a, a, a baguette. But in the absence of reference points, I now felt lost, and scared of being called a parrot itching again. It's hard to express the depth of my suffering, so I'll just let the facts speak for themselves. This morning, a French person, me, stood in a French bakery, in France, surrounded by a French people, and pointed out a baguette, and said, what is this called? You were mentally abused by that freaking worker. What the hell? Oh my goodness, that's so messed up. That at uh, that bakery is so awful. Anyway. <sighs> that means I'll lose my, like, favorite place to go. Because I actually have to go to real Tumblr. r slash Tumblr and r slash Korea Tumblr should really shut down on the 12th as part of the red blackout protests. And not just for 48 hours. Until the changes are reverted. Go to distance. Indefinite. Like a strike. I think I'm just going to do this as... The last one because I am getting really tired and I don't even know what I'm reading anymore. I have such a proud hate for stories that go with some guy, like, like literally just some guy was starting to these horrible secret sets with his sakes and then take it back and go, haha, he's not just some guy, he's a specialist little boy in, in the planet, last in a long line of specialist little boys. It was in his blood all along. You can't claim that your narrative is a profound commentary on human nature if the human representative is Spider or, or, or George. Pretty much, um, you can't claim that your narrative is a profound um, pro commentary on basic, like, normal people if the main character is not a basic, normal person. That kind of defeats the whole point. Anyway. Whew, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Whew. I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I do know I'll be seeing you then. Until then... Goodbye.